are we beginning to see in the actual data um, these deleveraging steps on behalf of the banks? Is that, is that is that already beginning to appear in the data that you monitor? It's it's only really evident in um, the uh, slowing down of the growth. I'm, I'm talking sort of worldwide rather than specifically the slowing down yeah. in the growth of broad money supply, which is comprised basically of bank credit and everything which is slightly more liquid. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, yes, we are seeing signs of it slowing down, but we haven't yet really got the signs that this is really going to crash. Um, but I have no doubt that in my own mind that that is the direction in which it's going. And I was interesting you quoting that um, other um, statement from Jamie Dimon about um, you know, this could be a bit worse than recession. Um, what your viewers may not know is that following his hurricane um, uh, comment, um, his chief economist came out and um, said uh, to the contrary that um, they, the bank did not expect things to deteriorate. I can't remember the word, but um, basically what he was doing was he was rowing back on his boss's statement. My guess is that the Fed to, you know, so I thought, oh, shock horror. We can't have Jamie saying this. Right. This is going to, you know, this is going to kill us all. For God's sake, get out of the bank and get them to issue a denial. And I think that was the denial. That was the the thing. So what he's now saying is not hurricane. He's saying recession. He's had his knuckles wrapped by the Fed. I feel pretty sure of that because they're going to be very, very sensitive to this sort of thing. I guess so. But, you know, when your brain says what's worse than a recession, you know, then it pretty quickly goes to depression, which is something I don't think the Fed wants people worrying about right now, too. <laughs> but but we'll see. So real quick, you know, um, so you would think that banks would would tighten lending policies, mean, mean meaning they'd be letting fewer loans, they'd be making fewer loans right now, given their concerns. You would think they would probably be trying to call any loans that they could, right? Yeah. Just they're not having them out there. Um, I guess this is the type of behavior that you're expecting to see a lot more of over the coming months, correct? Yes, that's that's absolutely correct. In fact, you can see it already in um, uh, the is figures issued by NASDAQ on uh, margin debt um, for financing financial positions or f positions in financial assets. I mean, that has been contracting very sharply in, in recent months. Um, so... It is already happening in that sphere, and that okay. doesn't and, surprise and, and, me. Sorry to interrupt on that, but but it, it, that could contract for two reasons. It could contract because people just don't want to make margin loans anymore because they're becoming less speculative. My guess is, don't let me put words in your mouth, but but I would think you and I do too. I don't think speculation has flushed out of the market as much as as, as, as that it would cause a downturn in that because we're still having things like yeah. what happened at Bed Bath and Beyond this past week. I mean, the speculative money is still out there. So the other way that it comes down is the banks are just willing to make less margin loans. And so the old ones roll off. And since no new ones are ma being made, the margin loan balance starts coming down. So it's probably more like that. Is that what you would think? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's really sort of understanding, um, you know, what makes people um, reduce their, their loan positions. I mean, basically, when you've got a really frothy market and everybody's bullish, it's not um, the people taking profits because actually their psychology is we want more. Right. So, um, you know, inevitably what happens uh, at the top of a market like that when the loan books start contracting is that it is the banks driving it, not the punters. And um, I mean, obviously, it's not a pure argument. I mean, there's a bit of both, obviously. But uh, I would say that overwhelmingly, the banks, um, the brokers would be pulling in loans rather than... Um, uh, the reverse and you know so so when you see um you know sort of positions beginning to go sour i think that they would tend to act very very quickly on the margin in order to try and close positions down so and and uh, i mean I, it's 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 an interesting um question because we tend to think of margin loans only really being on the bull tack but we do know that um, hedge funds have been shorting it and have recently been squeezed, which is why why the uh, equity market has been so strong in, in the last month or six weeks. So, uh, you know, either way creates a loan situation which would be reflected in the NASDAQ figures. If you enjoyed this video clip, click here to watch another one you should like.